So let's see if we can get a non non ass map. Well, they just died. Uh, let's just do bonus damage to shields. Sure. Well, it's not messed up yet. See, wonder's still on this game. Guess it's some good stuff. It is. Let's get the mortars. We know that we know mortars are good, good business. Oh, it's linear. Yes. Take one, whatever. Um, do I even go for the mana bank? Probably not. Mana siphon, shields, shields, ballistas gain range. Go ballistas gain range for the time being. Grab another one of those. Put that out a bit. There we go. That's probably a little bit better. I put a shredder tower on one of these. Yeah. I mean, how long how long do we think this line is gonna go? That's the real question. Oh, this would be a good spot. I mean it is a great spot. Alright. Watch it just never split. It is just the longest linear path I will ever see in a game. Uh, bleed them dry? Yeah. Because long range ballistics is great. Nope, it's split. I'd say nuts, but honestly, it was bound to happen eventually. Okay, give me just a smidge more. Smidge. There we go. Not that these are actually worth, like, gobs of money. All ballistas do poison damage. For now. Yeah, combo breaker. It's fine. And honestly, the poison damage on the ballistas is actually going to be pretty helpful anyway. So, what I'll probably do is put the saw blades here, or... Yeah, probably here. Or even, like, kind of back here. Because it doesn't... I don't really need to give the saw blade the bonus uh, range now that I'm thinking about it. But yeah, this is going to be so much easier to defend. There we go. Kind of wasteful having all of my list is here, but it pays for itself and I can always sell them at a later date if I really need it. And I most assuredly currently do not. So, from what I can tell, all dots are applied as a total amount of damage they get applied that gets applied at a set rate. Then you need perks to increase? Yes. Uh, let's see. Grab huh, shells. Grab that. Keep expanding. Ugh, another split. It's not actually too bad of a split because they still have six panels in Mortar Town. Oh, absolutely. Especially because Mortar Town can also become Hella Frost Town. If I want. And I will. Honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe, maybe I shouldn't be putting these things up high as much. If there's only one three, then I'd rather save that for, like, a frost tower. Uh, that said, for the time being, we're going to just go for frost bolts. Even if we are going to have the frost towers as well. The extra oomph goes a long way. Okay. Check getting that money. Because currently, like, this is just one long, painful walk for them to just get shredded by.
Honestly, this might actually be one of the best maps I've had to deal with. I think that very, very first run that I ever did was slightly better. Uh, let's see, more poison damage, armor, kill on fire, encampment. Let's get poison bolts. Okay, do we get another mortar? Not here, though. Probably here. Okay. This one's gonna be most shield. You're gonna be most armor. And you're gonna be most health. And then your progress ends. There's, there's the boy. My boy! Alright, do we just put it here? Yes. And onwards and place words. Oh, hey, cool. More money. The one unfortunate part about that positioning on the saw blade, never mind, that's pretty good. I was gonna say, one of the unfortunate parts about this placement is, is, is half the time the enemies are all just going to be dead by the time they get to this point. The answer is no, actually. And because of the range of that saw blade, once we get tons of enemies, then it won't matter. Okay. What else do I do? I don't know. Ballista's on the money spots. That's the real trick. They'll just... They'll just do their dark business. No one can stop them. Ballista's gain extra range or mortars gain bleed. Let's give these guys some extra exercise. Might... I think I might put a saw blade here as well. More saw blades. Oh, that's interesting. It looks like it... It will always turn around, no matter where it's thrown. Okay, good, and they will come this direction. Wow, it's still... It goes until it's hit... Oh my gosh. They go until they've hit... Everything. Or... Or they re reach the end of the track. It's... It's not based on a, a range of the saw blade, it's a, it's a pierce limit. And yeah, they will go to the end of the track. Which actually, actually makes them pretty wild. I'll just get another one here. More saw blades. So is it better to put them higher or lower then? Technically higher, but these highest spots I think I'm going to reserve for other things. Largely the, uh, the ice, tur ice turrets, because those are the ones that need it the most. Okay. Bless us do an additional sh slow. Sure. We're... this is upsettingly strong. Mana? Yeah, but I'm not using mana for anything. Like, once we get the, uh, frost turrets, sure, but even then I've got ballistas to do the exact same dang thing. If I want to have another freeze alley, it'd probably be like this spot here. Get absolutely skunked, Oogie. Yeah, look at all the money I'm just rolling. What we might end up wanting to do is get the flamethrower, get the poison thrower, and uh, 
at least the poison thrower and the fling thrower. Uh, purely just to farm the extra money. Would be useful. Let's grab bleed them dry. And what else do I do? We go here. I think now's where we start getting some... Uh, some dudes with shields. Let's just do that. That said, I'm not terribly worried. No, I should be. Oh no, but because we do the poison damage, it's really not that bad, actually. Okay. So I'm trying to decide here what my most practical options are. Yeah, let's do that. Ooh. I'd like the extra fragmentation, but let's give my mortar some extra range. Okay, you guys are all for the fastest. It's not progress. You just need to make everything slow. More saw. I, you know, I'm... Yeah, probably. The main issue is just maximum damage. Uh, the, the saws kind of cap out. So as good as they are, uh, I think what I might want to do is just, like, a gazillion mortars everywhere. Maybe, maybe not. I just... This... It's this really long final pathway, but before that, it's just this snaking web of just heck. If it, the whole thing was super linear, I think the, uh... I think the saw blades would be slightly better, and they're still great, don't get me wrong. Like, what's the range on these guys? Yeah, so if I, if I cover this entire area in mortars, they don't get the bonus damage as much. Here's the thing. I'm just gonna aim every single one of these at just most health. There we go. Okay, mortars gain bleed. Shredders do extra damage to health. Mortars gain more bleed. Alright. Let's go this way. Because, yeah, if I can somehow loop this back. Then we're in a good spot. And all we need is the frost hours. I mean, we need a couple of different things. But frost hours, I think we go a very, very long way. Wow. Yeah. Even shields can't protect them. Are you guys all set for... Nah. So... I'd actually say, I think the thing that we want right now is uh, ghost taxes and mana generation. I think it's time that we go, like, full finance. I was really hoping the lightning towers would actually have, like, an arcing shot. Like, on a... on some kind of base level for this game, I would actually say that the upgrade system is kind of boring. You know, it's all just, uh... You know, this does plus one damage. This does extra slow. You know, 50% bleed. It's like, it's nice. But... It's easy to kind of get dis disconnected from that. I don't have enough money. Whatever. Um, hey, thank you, Theodosian, for the seven-month resub. Thanks so much. Let's just see where that goes. Nope, that's just leaving... That's just leaving the park.
There we go. We'll just level up on something. Because, yeah, I think having all the mortars just aim for the things with the highest amount of health works best. Because that, I believe, also includes things with high shields and armor and whatnot. Uh, and that means the saw blades and especially the blisters can just play cleanup. We'll want to get a, uh... We'll want to get a poison thrower as part of this. They can probably shred bits. Uh, let's see, do we want to get the mana siphon? Uh, no, let's get the frost keep. Are we going to use it that much? No. Because apparently we don't need to. Oh, this is going to be kind of expensive, ain't it? Um, Demolish that one for now. Just so we don't have to worry about the extra, the extra money. I can still reach 75% of the map with that cluster. That's why I wanted to kind of just do nothing but mortars here. Because they really can just hit every path. I'll probably put another frost keep here, but we need mana generation to actually afford it. I think I'd want to do the mana markets, to be honest. Mainly because the mana markets are going to give us access to, uh... Well, I can just put tons of them down. I think they're less efficient than the mana crystals, but... There we go. Delete. Wow. Watch them go. Uh, sorcery? No. Poison sprayer? Eh. Thra thrashing? I guess. I mean, I guess I could just get sorcery anyway. And a market's only 60% is efficient. Yeah, you're probably right about that. I don't know. Let's just get more bleed. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Keep looking for the button to continue the wave. So the main reason why I'd want the mana market over the siphons is mana markets you can put anywhere. Siphons you have to put around the crystals. So la la ugh, loss of efficiency, but... Uh, way, way higher cap. It's probably better to start with the siphons than go for the, um, the markets, though. You're right. Yeah, what level are you? Level six. Yeah, that's fine. Ran into mana crystals, you'd be shocked. Really depends on what I start stacking. Because if I wanna if I wanna start making money off of gravestones, which I kinda do, then we're going to uh that's gonna cost a lot. They are starting to round the corner. Yeah. There's a bit of a concern. I guess I should probably get just some more ballistas down. Uh, are you kidding me? Okay, so we want these to go for the fastest. Anything else to do? No. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep kind of building up a war chest. Also, another thing I've noticed is while upgrading my 
my mortars probably... Eh, no. I'm definitely getting more EXP by not upgrading them because the more they... The more they attack, the more they hit. Uh, the more EXP they get. And so that's kind of valuable on its own. Is giving them the chance to level up. However, I don't know. I just kind of... Oh, I'm just kind of chilling because I can't do anything for at least like maybe a couple more upgrades. I mean, I can, but I don't want to. I want to. I want to save so we can go maximum tax on gravestones. Did they not gain attack speed on level up? Nah, I wish they did. Okay, mine you've got some shells. No. Frost keeps gaining extra range is pretty good. But I'm going to go for the concussive shells. Alright, let's just go this way. Why is it just going straight out? I want it to noodle back. I mean, maybe it will at some point. Oh, wouldn't that be beautiful? Just have both of these go... And then something else kind of loop back around here. Oh. That's okay. We're just gonna kind of chill and have some fun with this. Got flaming mortars incoming. That's what I was thinking. Because currently they do... Uh, they just do bleed. If I can get them to do poison and fire as well, uh, that runs the gamut of status effects and does probably a decent chunk of damage. really need some mana generation. I was right about deck bloat, though. Like, this does get pretty bad. Luckily, I managed to get mortars, but, like, can you imagine if I did not get mortars? And they just never showed up. I'd be in trouble. Yeah, Speedy Guy did make some forward progress there. I'll have to keep it in mind. Okay, mana bank. Looks like we're going mana bank. And then, I think I'm gonna pick up the university anyway, just to see. Gonna put it here. There we go. Okay. And I'm just gonna keep expending that one out. Is it practical to do so? Heck if I know. Now we need. All we need is the ability to attack gravestones and then things get funky. Probably what the re reset EXP button is for. As far as I know, that actually just resets the whole game. I, I just want a respec button, not a, hey, what if you had to grind through all of this again? That said, I'm not a big fan of meta progression normally. The meta progression in this is pretty damn light. I think we might want to get the poison sprayer. Because a number of these enemies are rolling in with, uh... With some stats that I'd like to maybe get rid of. The slow is certainly making everything easier. Uh, add a prestige mechanic then. That would actually, I mean, I'd, I could be up for prestiging in a game like this. Okay. Mortars gain poison damage. Or burn damage. Shoot, why are you giving me both of those simultaneously? Oh, well, gas shells it is. This is such a weird layout. I'm a little disappointed that it split so quickly, because if this hadn't split here and split, like, down here or even down here, ugh. Yeah, we might want to get a, a shredder, a couple more shredders, to be honest. Okay, that's 
That's level one. Level two. Just leave them with the beautiful gift of more saw blades. I don't quite like the sound effect, to be honest, but... Okay, are all these plus threes? No. Okay, so let's get another one up here. Mortar's on the top mountain, maybe. Uh, here? Maybe. See, honestly, if I was gonna do anything with mortars... Oh, it's Zombie Yogi! Wow. Literally not a problem. Who needs anti-shield when you just have more mortars than you know what to do with? I was like, I'm not really prepped to deal with him, am I? Never mind. Okay. Blisters do extra damage. Mortars burn. Mortars burn. Alright, what else do we do? Keep going this direction. What else do I need to do? Okay, most health. Most health. There we go. To start leveling these up a bit. More mortars. More mortars. More mortars. More mortars. How much money do I have? Enough. Alright, there goes the war chest, but uh I think we're fine. Okay, we'll probably want to stop investing in mortars after this point, but maybe that's okay. Uh, let's see. Chanted Ballistas, Siphon Mana, Eviscerate. Let's just go Eviscerate. And kind of keep expanding out. Why are they just going further and further away? Well, you know what? It's fine. Honestly, what we might want to do is actually uh, just get some Shredders on each of these paths. That's not a bad idea, actually. Just to kind of soften some fools up. Wow, yeah, that does a fair bit, too. Guys, let's just kind of spread the love. There we go. Look at all go. This is solid. Music is great too. Might be a little loud. Should I turn it down or do we just kind of do we just kind of own the fact that the music is a little loud? It's certainly nice to listen to. Jam it. All right. <laughs> oh man, this is this is a run. Alright, what do we got now? Uh, all frost creeps gain extra range? Maybe. Let's, um, let's up our status effects. Probably gonna keep expanding this. Because at this point, I'm not gonna do too much with these paths, but these two, I can potentially extend pretty far. Is there an end? I don't think so. Which is a little bit of a concern, because this run has been going for, like, a while. No jam emotes. I can do a jam emote at some point. I... I'm, uh, ugh, gosh. I really need to sit down and take a look at some of my artwork, but I'm kind of in this, like, weird... Eh, it's like the winter funk, but also the, like, holy shit, uh... You know, I, I think I'm just gonna have to be a hermit for the rest of my life. Uh, midlife crisis. And so... I just, like, haven't been doing half the shit that I know I need to do, just because. I 
Honestly, I should probably get like more cross keeps around. Maybe, maybe. Do I care? No, it's just save our money. Reason why you don't have any BTTV emotes? Uh, probably just lack of awareness of how to get those working. To be honest. More burn damage. More burn damage. We can also look into quality over quantity, but I don't think that's really my modus operandi here. Ah, oh, it turned. I can't believe this is working out the way that it is. I'm pretty sure the last couple years are the reason why everyone's in hermit mode. Yeah, but like, I don't know. I. It's so weird, you know, thinking of like the classic life path for most people, you know, you graduate from college, you get a good job, uh, go into the workforce, kind of establish yourself, make some adult friends, live life for, you know, maybe five, ten years, and then settle down, have kids, buy a house, so on and so forth. Didn't get the game name. Is that a circuit board? Nah, it's uh, Tower Paths. This is, uh, it's called Rogue Tower. It's a roguelike tower defense game. And I've broken it over my knee. It's very satisfying. I Really, what I'm looking for is I need to start taxing some ghosts. But yeah, I moved out to Portland for the express purpose of hanging out with some people and like, hey, there it is. Um, you know, just kind of living uh, a slightly more social life than I had uh, when I started this whole streaming career thing. And, um, yeah, that went out the window. So now, now I'm honestly, seriously considering buying a, uh, a house out in the middle of nowhere just so I can uh, hermit as hard as I possibly can. It's throwing me for loops. Okay, where are we? Ah, dang. I was really hoping I could maximize gravestone contact, but whatever. I don't actually know how expensive this is all going to be mana-wise, so I should probably be a little bit careful. Ah, oh, turn the other direction. Blech. Fine. How are we doing mana-wise? Doing great. How much money are we making? Probably not enough. I didn't really say. These are valid graves, yes? Should be. House with no neighbors for like a mile radius sounds like a great time. That's kind of where I'm at. It's like, oh, what if I could... Okay, man, it use death tax dude. It's like one of them is doing fine. A lot of them aren't, and I'm not sure why. I hermit together with shell? That's kind of the plan. I'm just gonna slap these down until my mana rate sinks. Or maybe half of them just don't work and I don't know why. We will find out. Same level. I've been on this level for I think half an hour, give or take. Uh, 35 minutes. Probably more like. There's only one haunting house per grid. Maybe. And they're cheap enough, so it's not that big of a deal. Maybe the rest of them will kick in at the beginning. Uh, let's see. Mortars? No. Make them suffer. There we go. And I don't know. Where are we going? Oh, let's do this one. Oh, eh. No, we can bring it back at the very least. Tax rate goes up over time? What? Oh! It has to be the same level.
Okay, so there, there's only a couple of these haunted houses that I can actually make money off of. So that one. Nope, not this one. You making money? No. Are these? Nope. Wow. This is kind of tragic. What about this one? Nope. Yeah, because that's a... <laughs> oh no! My dreams of an economic future dashed against the walls of improper house placement. Okay. I mean, it's fine. Start getting some encampments. Here's what I'm thinking. There we go. That'll protect me. Okay, here we go. Now more haunted houses. I'm gonna muck up my mana like nobody's business, but it's also going to make me cash money. I can't tell. No. Okay, put this here. What about you? No, so this one this one doesn't. That yeah, one's the wrong height. But here. Yeah, okay. I think that's about as much, uh, as many graves as we can possibly push. Okay. Well, my mana, my mana is definitely being impacted by it now, which is good. Oh, good. This is an area that I... This is an area that I can exploit further. Like I said, I just want to destroy all of my my mana income in favor of money. Give me that sweet cash. Eat landmines. Oh, I can get this one here? Yeah. I got the bottom lane. Missed one. There. Oh. This one, probably. Yep. Okay. So we've got some we got some tough suckers. I'm very glad I got these encampments. There we go. And is finally starting to get drained. No. Lies and slander. All right, there we go. Huh. There we go. Fixed. So, we potentially might want to get the flamethrowers at this point. If we see them go by. the broadhead bolts or bleed maybe all right so we've got some weird like mecha dudes that are starting to show up and they're actually kind of concerning okay in that case i'm gonna get a mortar here you are most armor and i'm just actually going to invest hard into this sucker. Because I think my main... Uh, 
That's my main goal here is just to make sure that these guys cannot advance too far. The landmines are working. Also, it looks like the landmines can stack on top of each other. That was actually, that was a bit of a concern. Wow. Every, every once in a while, something just races through and just eats landmines like crazy. Okay. They're definitely tough suckers. We need another shredder on that corner. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, let's see. Test the coil. Poison enemies take bonus for all attacks. Let's go blizzard. Make my frost towers have more range. How are you doing? I feel like I should have invested in this guy's ability to take out armor, but whatever. This one's fine. He doesn't need the range. Just make it so he does 2,000 damage. There we go. Oh, there's a card in there that uh, slowed enemies by a percentage of the poison applied. Oh, I missed that one. We will get it next. All right, let's uh, let's zoom in on these suckers. I think those are like demon things. Yeah, demons and like weird robo. Oh, Draculas. But yeah, there's there's like robo soldiers or something. The mortars in the northern peninsula would be a good idea. I'm just. I think I'd still rather have all of them centered around here. I'll get the Demon Slayer perk. Perk? Chivo. So what I could do is get a saw blade. Yeah, let's get a saw blade here. There we go. Good. How's my mana doing? Looks like my mana is fine. I was really hoping those ghost houses would have more of an immediate effect on my income. Shockingly, they don't. I'm curious about what death tax does. Uh, it's upgrade burn damage. Okay, just kind of keep going there. Is it just nine, nine gold? I have no idea what these haunted houses do. Gold bonus for every enemy killed. Makes sense. Oh. Oh gosh. Okay, maybe that's that. That is actually really good. more graves that have popped up? Doesn't look like it, no. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Definitely messy going on in here. I think, I think we definitely want to pick up, like, the flamethrowers and a couple other things. Oh. Robo Oogie. <laughs> I mean, I don't think he's changed design-wise. I think he's just the same thing. Oh no, but he's got a single... He's got a single wheel for his feet. Of course. Why not? And yeah, even though the encampments aren't leveled up, they, uh... They still do shit tons of damage with, like, nothing. So they absolutely just demolish anything that tries to to blitz this final corridor. There's a Robo Oogie. He's having a bad day. I have not built around removing like shields at all. Oh my god, twenty thousand bleed under the sea. Ah. 
get shredded, son. I wish there was an upgrade that would uncap the bleed damage, but I realized that that would actually break things. You just barely move. Yeah, he just gets buried there. Oh, it's beautiful. Ooh. Blizzards do extra bleed damage, maybe. Um, Blizzard increases range? I like the blizzard range. Good. Wow. Because that means if I put a, uh, a frost keep on a hill, it uh, locks him down completely. I don't want to do too much of that, though. I don't know. Ooh, new music. Holy shit. Okay, so they're, um, they're Angie. That's a lot of them. I think the game wants me to lose now. My options. There we go. Oh. Right, we're gonna grab university just to see. Maybe you just build the universities. Because, yeah, I haven't seen any kind of map thing to indicate, like, cursed shrines. Oh, this is actually a bit of an issue. I've been ignoring shields, uh, shielded enemies for so long. But now it's becoming pretty obvious that I think I need to actually care about that. What level are these? And not actually that level, uh, high of a level. The damage is spread around pretty well, though. I think I'm just gonna go hard on maybe upgrading, like, one or two of these. As kind of a backup. And I think we really should also maybe look into getting the sprayers. Let's see. Or just gain damage to shields. It's tempting. Probably. It's the thing that we need the most. I want the universities just to figure out what the universities do. So what is this game again? Rogue Tower. Comes out February 2nd, so I'm a couple weeks early, but I'm uh I'm having a blast. Uh, do I invest in more? Wow, yeah. Go figure the saw blades are good. They actually do a, a fairly even amount of damage to all types. They don't fire very fast though, which is like the one downside. Okay, do we just... Beefing you up? Yeah. We might also want to get the crit damage perk at this point. Let's see how he's doing. Eh, reasonably well. Let's see. Anything else? Nah, I think we're good. Yeah, the, the mortar spam works. Shockingly well. I love watching them fly too. It's very satisfying. Let's see, get a hallway of blisters because they're cheap? Yeah, I think so. What's their range? Because they'll just kind of level up on their own anyway. 
Uh, mortars gain more poison damage. No, we gotta increase the rate. We don't need we don't need to stack more. We just need to have it be better. Oh, uh, wait, no, those are mine. <laughs> The score was a 666 for a while. Ooh. Edgy. Yeah, I can't make any money off of those gravestones. Gosh. This is only level 38. I wonder how much worse it gets. At more blisses? Yeah. I'm just gonna I'm gonna turn this entire area into Ballista Alley. They're not great, but they're not terrible. I figured this way. They'll level up pretty quickly. I'd say I could easily see this being endless. I'm assuming there's gotta be some waves that are just like mathematically impossible to defend against. Like there's no way that your turrets can scale fast enough to justify it. At least that's my assumption. Okay. Let's just get some encampments down. Yeah, there we go. This game is great, but you can get screwed on map gen. Like, split very close to the tower. Oh yeah, I've had, had that happen a couple of times. It's technically recoverable, but at the same time, uh, from my perspective, I would much rather just have the long run. Make them suffer? Yeah. And we want to just get that extraordinarily long run there. A flamethrower tower with full shield damage would be right, nice right now. Or the, uh... Or the poison? Siphon? I don't need the siphon for anything. It'd be kind of cool if the siphon tower stole shields from enemies and gave you mana. That actually would be really neat. Serious, just landmines. So many. Their fire rate is atrocious, though. I definitely want to get the obelisk, and I definitely want to get the, uh... The tower that does... What is it? The airstrikes. I feel like both of those have some really interesting potential, much... Uh... Because I, I need something that has a very high rate of fire. And probably a short range. And then I also need something that's just massive AoEs. No, I mean, this is working so far. I don't need too much. I just know with how linear upgrades work in this game, uh, I guess it depends a little bit. No, with the, with the way linear upgrades works, it's actually better to get faster attacking things and upgrade them than slower attacking things. Okay. Oh, creeping cough. Poisoning enemies also slows them by 5% of poison gain. I've, uh, I've got to get the university. Do I just put it down? I haven't seen a single shrine looking thing. So I'm just I'm just gonna put it down somewhere. Place it next to an occult shrine. Okay, so it, it's it's a location. Like I thought, it's just a location that we don't know what it is yet. So 
the portal considered a shrine? I don't think so. Because I think you should be able to click on it and it'll tell you. Like wherever these occult shrines are, they are very far down. As far as general availability. Now that money is becoming no object again, more ballistas. Okay, that one's actually... This one has good priorities. Uh, speaking of good priorities, well, this is base damage. It's level 13. It probably is the smarter idea to actually get some upgrades now. Does the base damage and the multiplier only go up by one each? 49.34. Yeah. So actually, we really do want uh, some of the sprayers with a really fast attack speed. Are the shrines even unlocked? I don't... There's something that show up on the map, probably. What if the haunted houses count? I doubt it. No. So it's either distance base or it's something else. I guess we could take just like one of these paths and make it absurdly long. I don't really want to do that because it's it's gonna make them walk forever. Okay, let's grab creeping cough now. Cause that could be really busted. destroy and then wait you know what here's an option this might make the game freak out but it's getting really long so I'm gonna I'm gonna speed it up tremendously well maybe not tremendously but I'm gonna speed it up oh I don't think speed hacks does anything I think this game actually doesn't, uh, doesn't take it. Oh. Yeah, no. It doesn't give a shit. That sucks. Because, yeah, this definitely needs a speed mode just to give me, uh, just to get them to come, uh, come at me faster. I don't mind that much, but, like... This is the one problem I have with infinite roguelikes, you know, kind of just the endless survival ones, is that if you, if you get strong enough, if you get stupid enough, nothing can stop you. Like, it's almost 10 p.m. for me. I am very hungry. Did the Tesla Towers hit everything in the radius? Nope. They just hit one thing at a time. Fairly quickly, and it's like an okay amount of damage. But they don't. I wish they had, like, a, uh, a chain lightning effect. Romantic can take a very long time to complete. Yup. I love that game. Super adorable. But if you're having like a really good run, nothing stops you. The robots are definitely getting tough enough. No, they're not. Oh, it's the missiles. It's the missiles that are going like real fast. I don't see the Tesla Towers any worse than the Ballista. There's two issues. One, Ballista has like four times as much range. Two, Tesla Towers use mana. And three, you start with the Ballista Towers. And they have an innate slowing effect that you can upgrade towards. My god, that poison slow really has just destroyed these things' ability to go.
Okay. Oh, all towers gain 5% crit chance. Cool. That helps. Even if we have no shrine. I'm curious if the shrines are even in here. I Is this game launching early access or is it going to be feature complete? It doesn't say. Yeah, unfortunately it does not say. Well, what do we say? I'm gonna throw some tires out of range so you can soften enemies up. It's expensive. And when do we when do we wanna call it here? Cause I mean, I could go to I could go to fifty. Or wait, no, there should be a demon oogie around wave 46. So let's let's maybe beat the next oogie, see what it is, and then just probably call it from there. Go to a thousand score maybe. Yeah, I could do that too. Cause yeah, if I could if I could speed this up, that would solve all problems. If I could If there was more things for me to do, I could also do that. But the problem is like all of these enemies. Because of my my poison slowing capabilities, I've just completely destroyed their ability to advance. And yeah, I was just gonna one more run an hour ago. I'm having a good time, but it's uh I always have to be careful about this. I burn out on games a lot faster nowadays. And so it's kind of one of those that, uh, if I overplay a game that is in either a rough state or a boring state, but might be better later, uh, I have to, like, stop myself from playing more because otherwise, um, otherwise I ruin the game for myself. So, like, back when I played, uh, Dead Cells, way back at Early Access launch, Loved the game. Mostly, it had some problems that I definitely was, like, a little harsh with my criticisms, question mark. But it's like, it was still fun and I enjoyed playing it. And now I just can't play the game anymore because I'm just so, like, burnt out on it still. Do we want to get crit? Yeah, let's get crit. Give everything a 10% chance to crit. Where is the shrine? I want to research, because it sounds fun. On the plus, getting a bunch of meta progression now. Yeah. That was a very high level. Actually, most of them are like 10. There's a couple that I put a lot of money into that are like 30. See its crit chance. 17%. 16%. Yeah, I mean, that should be reasonably good. At this one, level 36. 41% crit chance. This is our anti shield sucker. Mm. I just don't know what to invest into. To, like invest in into this guy and just go all round because it certainly feels like going all rounder is kind of worth it Do you think specialist ballista anti-armor or shield would save the day I mean kind of uh better yet would be a specialist poison thrower like one for each because they have really fast attack rates um or Poison thrower or flamethrower, either or. Um, but yeah, they have absurdly fast attack rates. Actually... Is 
So does this. Oh, it even goes up to times three crits. Okay. It kind of works. It's a little confusing because I don't think that fire rate is correct. Use armor, not shield. I'm aware of that. Oh, did I have the. No, no, no. I picked the right one. Ah, let's see, we don't need more. Burn. Let's go Blizzard 3. Okay. Oh, Dive Death Games. Level 45 is the last Ogie. You're so close. Hey! I believe. I believe that's the developer. Yeah, thanks for sending this along. This is really fun. And yeah. Okay, we'll stop at 43 because I need I need food. I'd question, are shrines in the game yet? Because they sounded cool, but I haven't seen them go by. Okay, let's go most shields. Just start investing in this. Yeah, I haven't seen a shrine pop up, so I'm assuming they're not actually available. Shrine thing looks like blood shrine in Minecraft. Oh. Shrines are, there's a 33% chance for one to spawn in every one of the hell levels. Ah, okay. I guess I've just been bafflingly unlucky. Kind of insane he didn't spawn one. Well then, I mean, that's, I don't want to say it's not terribly unusual on my end. It, these are the hell levels. Uh, I think you can tell it's a hell level because of the monsters that are spawning but also the music we're listening to. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna invest hard in these because it seems like the ice shrines actually have the ha fastest attack speed. Wow, yeah, I was right. So, um, they don't actually attack in an AOE. It looks like they attack, it looks like they do, but they don't. They're just hitting a random target. Uh, or whatever tar target I've I've told them to attack. But you can definitely see when this thing triggers because it'll just like delete armor off of something. And the shields. And because there's no like outward attack animation. Yeah, so that, that, uh, ugh. there's like a mind flare there that had like a decent chunk of shield and it's just gone. So I'm going to assume these these suckers attack stupid fast and do a, like a really good job of just eating shields off. Poor armor. Okay, what do we want to do? Ballistas. We could get the poison sprayer. I'm kind of in this weird apathy mode where nothing matters because we are just so absurdly broken that nothing can stop me. Let's expand this out. Oh look. Wait. Big brain Oogie. <laughs> Not much Oogie left to that that dude. It slowed him down a little bit. Unfortunately, upgrading this guy further is going to be very expensive. I'm not terribly worried. This this whole area is where my my defenses are really properly maxed. Still no shrine. It's like I don't want to stop without one, but I really want food.
Okay, Frost Tower does damage with each snow particle, because I see your enemies melt f fast. Okay. That would explain it. Because, yeah, it's not like a full aura, but it does do a lot of damage. So I might have actually been better off uh, going for the sprayers. So does that mean targeting on the uh, the frost tower really isn't actually that helpful? Oh well. Wow. Oogie. Oogie hasn't even reached my defenses and he's already like a decent chunk dead. When did that happen? I guess because he has the most amount of HP, my mortars probably have just been singling him out. This is wild. Oh, the RPM is increased based on how many tiles it hit. Okay. Wow. How much is that? Almost 100k in poison damage. If only it would uncap. Think of mango. Gosh, please don't. Don't make me think of mango. I am hungry. I can't believe this worked as well as it did. I was just like, you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try and go uh, quality over quantity here. I'm just going bananas. Victory! Oh, all 45 levels. Nice. Well, that's a lot of exp. Sweet. All right. I think I'm gonna stop here at least for now. We might come back to this in a couple of days, or I might hold off and wait until we actually, uh, until the game actually properly comes out. Uh, let's grab the radar. That's... Bad. Oh boy. That's some range. There we go. Obelisk. You want to grab the status effects, even though I'm not actually sure if they're that helpful. There we go. How much EXP do I still have? Gobs. Absolute unnecessary amounts of money. And a capacity, grab the next repair. I don't know if there's more I can do. Do I want to make the Tesla coil better? I was pretty eh on it. Oh, I see. We hadn't gotten the last of it. Oh, and yeah, I actually am out of, I'm out of juice. I am completely out of juice. Eh, that's fine. Maybe we don't need the, the bonus damage is nice. Still, wow, you really can stack the bleed on that one. It just kind of doesn't matter because of the limits. And it's fine. All right. Anyway, so I am going to leave that leave that for here. I think next time we come back, maybe I'll start messing around with double defense. But even then, I don't know. Uh, this is fun. Oh, and you can actually see the entire thing. Do you even have lore, kind of? Oh, I see. W and S to go down. It's like scrolling is scrolling out, not scrolling down. There we go. And yeah, maybe next time we'll actually get a shrine so I can figure out what the university does. <laughs> it's fine. All right. With all that said, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time. Wait, what? These screenshots show the lightning has way more range. I'm confused. Oh, well.